Hi everybody, how are you? It's Leslie and I am going to do a project today. Actually it's going to be a series. Um, I'm following along with um, Cat Hands series um, called <clears throat> excuse me, called Mixed Media Morsels. <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm a little hoarse here today. Yeah, sick of my, sick of my Dr. Pepper. <clears throat> Anyway, so I'm a little late to the game. This started um, the beginning of January and I just couldn't find a book that I wanted to use to do this project, this series. And, uh, and to be honest, I just was dropping the ball on it, but I found a book that I liked that I wanted to use and I'm getting it all prepped. I got a lot of it prepped. So I'll kind of go over that with you. But basically once a week, she's going to, she throws out a, um, a new mixed media technique and those techniques will be stored in this book. Um, I have this clipped here like this because I've already done some preparation in this book. Um, I have not done my cover on it yet, um, decorated it because um, I saw a technique for the cover that Shannon Green did on hers and I really liked it and I've never done it before. So I'm going to re-watch her video on how she did that. And that's Shannon, that's Shannon Green. Um, look her up on YouTube if you have not. Um, but she did a really cool um, uh, cover, you know, both back and front. And um, I'm going to steal it from her and uh, try it on here. Because like I said, I've never done it before the way she did it. So this is a perfect place to do it. So I've opened up my book here and I'm going to, I'm going to bring my camera down a little bit so you can see this better, especially as I do this project and I'll move the book to get it back in frame. All right. Is that better? That's a little too. Whoa. There, that's better. I did put some clear gesso on this side just to, um, kind of protect it a little bit. Um, I have some ideas of what I want to do here yet on this side. I'm not quite sure, but I have some ideas. I need to think through it. But what I have done is I've gone through, like I said, I'm behind. I think they're on week seven. This is the first page. This is week one. So I'm going to be really um, working hard to catch up. But I've taped my seams in here and I've just sewed my pages. When you tape this, it helps keep the um, media that you're using from seeping through to the other pages. And because this is not a real expensive, you know, notebook, it's really kind of a cheap notebook, actually. If I can get to the middle of it, you'll see that it's, oh, not in frame, sorry. Don't tell me, I already know. It's sewn. You see that? It's a sewn um, notebook, but you know, they're, they're cheap, you know, but that's okay. I can, um, buy, uh, gessoing and yes, I did use my homemade gesso. Um, get, I got 10 pages prepped. So that way, hopefully I can catch up during the week. And by the time she does her next one next week, I'll be all caught up and a little bit ahead with my pages being prepared. But anyway, this technique that we're going to do is called a plastic wrap background and it's mixed media morsels one. Oh, look at my, it's coming up, my clear gesso. That's okay. This is like a plastic, so I wasn't sure if it was going to work or not, but that's all right. We'll get it together. So the first thing I want to do is I want to protect this page because I don't want um, any of the uh, media then I'm going medium mediums that I'm going to use to seep through onto this page. And this is to all right. I hope that's better. Y'all. I think you can see what I'm doing. So anyway, I'm going to take my binder clips and I'm just going to Fold these down here to protect 
this page, and this is just deli paper. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting over a really bad cold. Um, you know, when you work in a school, kids come to school sick, and then we get sick, and you know, I've got autoimmune issues, so <clears throat> I seem to catch things easy. I'm also going to put a binder clip here, and I'm only doing that just to kind of weight this down. There. So it's kind of out of my way. Maybe I need to move this over a little bit. Like I said, this is my first time doing this, so it's my first time doing this technique, actually. So, you know, like I said, some things I may have I may have already done before in previous projects. Some things I may have not, and this is one of those. All right, the other thing I'm going to do. Um, let's see. I want to put another piece of deli paper in here to protect this back page. Come on, get in there, mama. There. All right, now, the first, this is going to be a couple step process. And I'm starting to film tonight, but you know what? It won't be finished till tomorrow. So the first thing I'm going to do, first of all, like I said, this page is gessoed. And you know what? I think I, I think I told you that this was started by Cat Hand. And I will put a link to her video or to her YouTube channel. Um, she is just a kind-hearted lady. Um, I've never met her in person, but of course, most of my friends on YouTube I've not met in person. But she just she's just a kind soul and so full of ideas. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to lay some pink down on here. Wet my brush a little bit. There's a reason why, because this is going to be my background. Try and get that tape. So I'm just going to paint this on here. And I know it looks real pale pink. Um, in the camera but it's not, trust me, it's not a pale pink. And you know, this notebook was really inexpensive. So I'm going to dab more water on my brush just to... I want to make sure that all the white is covered. I really think this is a cool, cool technique. All right, so now that's done. My pink, put that away. Now I'm just going to give this a quick dry with my new heat gun. Um, I had to get a new one because the one that I've had for like 10 years finally bit the dust. So I'm not sure I like this one, but you know, um, it does the job. Um, I hope it lasts, you know, more than a month. Like I said, I'm not really sure I like this one, but you know what? You gotta, you gotta use what you have. And <clears throat> I had a coupon, so that's what I got. It's all they had in the store at the time. So you take what you can get. All right. I'm going to blow, I'm going to blow dry this. <laughs> Kinda. I'm going to dry this up with my heat gun and I'll be right back. Okay, I have dried the pink paint on this page and now what I'm going to do, because there's going to be a lot of water involved here, um, I want to make sure that these don't curl up. So I'm just going to take just the slightest little bit here and hold it down with my binder clip, a binder clip, 
I should say. Can't get the side to go down. I think I'm going to do the same on the other side. I need one more. I thought I had four yellow ones. Not that it matters that everything be color coordinated with your binder clips, but I'm just weird that way. But here's a small black one. All right. So I'm just going to bind this just real, just ever so slightly on the corners. There. Now that'll help keep it to lay flat. So I want it to lay flat. Okay. Just pushing it down. Because I've got the masking tape in here, it's kind of causing this to bubble up. Not bubble up, but I've got a little bit of a ridge here. That's okay. All right, now, let me see here. I've got my plastic wrap. I'm going to roll that up in a ball. I've got two colors of paint here. Um, I really wanted to use my... Um, my Amer my uh, Americana Deco art paints, but I kind of let my granddaughter bo borrow them. The color and I didn't realize those were the colors that I needed. Um, but you know she's um, she's four and a half, going on thirty, and I talk about her all the time. I'm sure you've heard me talk about my Chloe girl, but she was making something for her mommy today. So um, I'm going to uh, you know. That's not, that's, I think that's cool. So grandma was, grandma was more than happy to let her borrow some of my paints. And, uh, I've got lots of projects to do. So, um, get some paper towels out here. Um, I've got lots of projects to do in this book and in a few other thing, uh, groups that I'm going to be doing things in. So, you know, not a biggie. Get the excess paint off here. I'm going to be using, um, the colors are ultramarine blue and light blue by basics. Um, and the pink was by basics also, but what I am going to use on this, and I should have used it on this, darn it. Oh, well, you know what? Hindsight's 2020. I'm going to use a pearlizing medium on these just to add some shimmer to them, just to make them different. I don't know if it'll work or not, but hey, it's worth a try. So what I'm going to do, I'll move this over here so that you guys can see. I'll put a glob of, that's way too much paint. Of the blue, light blue, of the dark blue. And there's the light blue. I probably use more light blue than dark blue, but add a little more there. That's all right. Whatever's left over will go in my binder thing of extra paint. Now what I'm going to add is the pearlizing medium. And I'm going to use this just to mix it up. Yeah, that's a lot of paint. And then I have another brush for the light blue. I'm just going to mix these up. Man, that's a boatload of light of dark blue. Yikes. Okay. And the key to this is, is to keep it damp because you want it wet. So I'm going to wet my surface here. And I'm going to start 
Dark Delight, I guess. And I'm just going to get that on here. Okay, and then I'm going to pick up my light blue. I'm going to pick that up on there. I really want to cover that pink. It's a method to my madness. This pearlizing medium by um, Americana, this stuff is great. I'm going to need to order some more because I'm really going through it. I said, I'm, I know I'm using a lot of paint, but that's what I want. I'm kind of going this way. All right, now I just want to blend them in. This is good and wet. Now I'm using two brushes, but I just don't know any other way to do it, I guess, since I'm just trying to blend it. Getting a nice blend. But I want a lot of paint on these pages. Okay, now what I'm going to do, and see I'm already starting to get wrinkles in the paper because it's really wet. I'm going to take my saran wrap. It actually, it's not saran wrap. It's uh, from the dollar store. I'm going to lay it on here. And I want wrinkles. I want to scrunch it up. It's the whole goal. Preferably not the paper. Let's get some of that blue up there. These wrinkles are supposed to leave texture. And if you can see, and I'll bring it up closer, that there's actually, you can kind of see the pink coming through the blue. I need to clean some of that up yet because I don't want like like fingerprints per se. It's kind of rubbing it. to crinkle the edges a little bit too in here. Hence that's why this is good to have this here. OK. 
Okay. Now I'm just going to let this dry overnight. And then when we come back tomorrow, hopefully we're going to see some beautiful texture on there. And I'm going to set that aside. And I'm going to grab my book that I've just been putting extra paint on so I don't waste it. I wish it in the dark first, huh? I guess it really doesn't matter. This way I'm not wasting my paint. My husband's been was unemployed for quite a while and now he's kind of underemployed, but he's working, at least thank God. So, you know, you need to save money where you can. And I need another piece of dully paper here. Hold on. I had my deli paper sitting out. And now I'm going to take this and lay it on there. Scoop it up. water my brush. That's kind of cool. And it's got like, you know, a glimmer to it because it, uh, the, um, pearl medium that I put on there, pearlizing medium. That's cool. All right. So I used up Oh, here's some pink on this brush. There we go. That'll be fun to add some colors to. And I need another piece of dollar paper. <clears throat> Cover this. And I'll let this dry overnight too. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, um, I've got tons of composition notebooks. I think I may get some of those. Grab one from under my desk. And, um, start saving my excess paint in that because I think it'll be a lot easier. All right. So that's it for this. We'll let this dry overnight. And for me, it will be tomorrow for you. It'll be a snap of the fingers and the video will be continuing on. So, um, Good night, sleep tight, and uh, I'll see y'all in the morning when I finish my video. Bye, y'all. Hi, everybody. No, it's not the next morning. It's late at night, and my first page is dry. Look at how beautiful that turned out. The texture on that is great. The only thing that really I don't like is I got the paper so wet that it creased right here, but that's all right. I don't care. It's gorgeous. I did have to cut along the bottom here a little bit because when I 
peeled up the uh, saran wrap and took some of the paper with it. But boy, didn't that turn out great? See how it shines? Love it. All right, so here is my mixed media morsels one saran wrap background. And uh, I think it turned out really great. I can't wait to use this on backgrounds for uh, for other pages um, or plastic wrap back plastic wrap background. And you know what I was thinking? Well, it's in my head because um, you know things don't stay there very long sometimes. Um, if you don't have, you know, saran wrap. Um, you know, or plastic wrap, cling wrap, you know, you could always use like a Walmart, a Walmart bag or, um, something like that. I think that would probably work just as well, um, for this kind of texture. Um, sometimes you're working on projects like this late at night, like I am right now. And you know, what, what would I have done if I didn't have extra, you know, plastic wrap downstairs in the pantry? So it worked out great, you know, but um, if you don't have that, I mean, why don't you try, you know, like a, a Walmart garbage bag, that would work, um, you know, or a garbage bag, you know, a plastic garbage bag, tear a piece off. But um, so it, this is it. It's done. It's beautiful. And I'm going to get ready for round two. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have a great day. and. We'll see you soon. Oh, 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 you know what? I'm going to put link below to um, Kat's, um, to Kat's YouTube channel um, for the mixed media morsels. And um, again, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, when you uh, subscribe, you'll get an email letting you know when I have um, uploaded a video so you can see it. So again, thank you very much and have a great night. Bye-bye friends.